no boy. and they're only four pounds you've got like 15 eyeshadows four pounds and there are so many different options so there's going to be something that you like so do go and have a look on the revolution beauty website um but yeah today we're going to be using the visionary palette which is mainly kind of uh, pinks and purples and we've got some cooler toned uh, more neutral colors as well so we're gonna have a play with this one and um, before i get into that though make sure you go and subscribe please it's just out there and um, make sure you're following me on social media as well because you will get different versions of this content over on my instagram and i tend to be a bit chattier on twitter so make sure you're following me on all of those good places please um and yeah, let's just crack on. It's haircut day today, so I want to kind of do my face and um, then go and get my hair chopped a little bit different. We're having a little bit of a change, so I want to look all snatched and beautiful for the new hair to arrive. I say arrive, it's getting cut. It's not like it's arriving in the post, which would be helpful, to be honest. Okay, first thing I've done is obviously brought you a lot closer, so nobody panic. It's fine, okay? I think it's fine. Are you all okay? It'll be it'll be covered up soon, don't worry. Um, right, so first thing you may have noticed about this palette is that it doesn't have a mirror. Okay, and then I'm going to be using the new Revolution uh, Cut Crease Canvas. Yeah, this is Illustrate, so this is the fair one. And I've just kind of taken off the excess and I'm just going to pop that on. I'm just going to use a fluffy brush just to kind of blend that out and spread that around the lid okay so first of all i'm gonna go in with a transition shade there are no shade names no i've got no shade names at all on these so there we go you can just make them up if you want to why not so think for a transition i'm just going to use this one down in the corner which is kind of a light beigey color i'm just gonna pop that along area right then I'm going to start and the colors that are speaking to me the most are this um darker shimmery purple and this lighter shimmery purple and I'm thinking of using the shimmery pink kind of as an inner corner situation don't know yet um so I think with that in mind um those three i think i want to start with maybe these two on the crease so i'm going to start with the more vivid bright purple in the center first and obviously that's vibrant af as we would expect from revolution by now so that's just going in the crease I'm just patting that at the moment instead of blending. I've been learning from Tammy. Can you tell? Please excuse the drilling. Okay, and let's go and make the other eye match somehow. Then I'm going to go in and do kind of the deepen up the outer corners of that. And I'm going to use this gorgeous burgundy brown colour. Oh, 
time for the lid and I think what I'm going to stick with are these two uh, lighter shades over here. They're both shimmers. We've got a purple and a pink. Gorgeous. So I think I'm going to use the purple kind of on the um, main area of the lower lid and then I'm going to um, go in with the pink on the inner corners and bear with. If you try these with finger actually, I think the shimmers perform so much better using your finger. So let's just go in with the purple for now. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Please transfer to the eye. Oh my God, that is gorgeous. That is so buttery and gorgeous. And it's not getting lost on top of the other colours either. So I'm kind of taking that over the most of the like, eyelid. I'm just kind of tapping along the join of the darker sort of burgundy brown that we put down. Oh my God, it's layering so nice. Oh, I need that. Okay, other eye. I'm gonna then go back in with the dark brown burgundy color. And just kind of re-stamp that out of V. like a patchy bit there that's really winding me up can you see it just there a little bit there right let me go and do the rest of my face and then we will come back and do under eye and inner corner and uh and we'll go and get my hair cut right we're nearly there we're nearly nearly there so all i need to do now is inner corner underneath mascara and then get the lip on i always leave the lip till the very very end because I don't know how excited I'm going to get with the eyeshadow. I don't know what kind of dramatic thing I'm going to end up doing. Even if I've started and the plan has been to do a neutral, you just never know where it's going to go. So I always leave the lip till the very, very last thing. So let's do the under eye and then we can get mascara done. So in fact, let's do inner corner first. Let's. Right, so I'm going to do this pinky colour for the inner kind of third. And I'm going to go in with my finger again. Um... Actually, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Because I've got liner on, I'm just going to get a smaller brush so that I can be a bit more precise with where I'm placing that around the liner. So, which one do I want? I'm going to go in with this one from a uh, Primark, the Dusk set. If you saw that video, that was an absolute nightmare. If you want to laugh at me getting everything completely wrong, go and, go and find the Primark Dusk testing video because oh my god um so i'm just gonna go in with that uh, lovely little pink number there and that's just gonna go on the inner third oh my god i love that and it really ties it in with that pinky purple we've got in the crease color Oh, that is absolutely gorgeous. Um, I think what I want to do as well with the inner corner is use this absolutely gorgeous sort of yellowy champagne gold shimmer colour that's down there. So I'm going to use the same brush. I'm just going to brush it off this uh, goldy colour down at the bottom to use as an inner corner. Guys, that gold is like the most opulent, beautiful thing I've ever seen. Oh my God, it's gorgeous. I can't wait to take selfies. I can't wait to take selfies. Okay, so then I'm going to go in with this kind of small domed brush from the uh, Champagne Collection from Revolution. And I'm going to use, I'm going to go back in with this purple that we used in the crease. And I'm just going to put that under the uh, lower lash line. Do you know, I was going to put the darker, like, burgundy brown one just towards the edge, but I really don't think it needs it. I was going to put falsies on, but I am absolutely blessed by the eyelash gods. Um, and I've got really, really long lashes, so I'm just going to 
stick with my own lashes for this one because I really want this eye look to stand out. And I think sometimes the lashes can kind of bury it a little bit. Plus, I haven't quite perfected the art of uh, lash application and I really don't want to ruin it because I really love it. Okay, so I'm going to go in with one of the NYX Candy Slick lip glosses. Oh my god, I love these. This one is brand new, so just let me open it. This one is in the shade Cherry Cola and looks like this kind of like dark, plummy, um, purpley, browny kind of deal. Um, so I thought it would tie in with our outer corner. Oh my god, I love this so much. Oh my god, I just love these bloody glosses so much. They smell gorgeous as well. <gasps> They're not too powerfully fragranced, but they just smell really nice. So that's it. That is the completed look. I am so happy with this one. So that was achieved using the Revolution Reloaded Visionary Palette here. Um, mainly sticking with the pinks and the purples. I absolutely love it. I think my favourite thing about it has got to be, though, this gold, um, which we've used on the inner corner. Oh, my God. And in person. Let me just see if you can see it. Look at it, it's absolutely stunning. In person, it looks so nice with the look as well. Gorgeous, love it. Right then, I'm gonna go and get my hair chopped and I will see you lot in my next video. Don't forget to give this one a big thumbs up. Don't forget to go and subscribe if you haven't already. Leave me a comment and let me know what you thought and whether you're enjoying these videos. Um, um, have an amazing day, whatever it is you're doing. Remember, I love you very lot and I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching, bye. Dead my boy! Oh, no, 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 no,